nowhere. I will stay here until the end of my term and save the people of this area without hesitation because this is the work that uh, uh, we're supposed to be doing. A defiant Mycena rubbish claims that his administration spent close to millions of public money on a chemical toilet system in the city. He insists everything was done above board. Masina has been facing battles from within his administration too. Suspended Chief Operating Officer Lesiba Mojapelo has labelled the mayor a liar and a law unto himself. But the mayor says these allegations may be serving an unknown agenda. There was no corruption here. Um, if it was about, because corruption is when uh, you want to deliver X number and you, you don't deliver them. Because you can look at our plans. Nothing happened incidentally. We didn't wake up from 9,000 to 39,000. It was planned in our financial year and we budgeted for it. And there is no audit finding that has come from the Auditor General about the sanitary program that we are running here in, 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 the, in the city. The Gauteng MEC of Kota, Lebohang Maile, has given Masina until Friday to formally respond to the allegations. Well, all we need is uh, a clear indication that there's wrongdoing. Uh, and all we want at this point is to get that response to make that determination. And once we um, receive a response from the mayor, we will then decide whether we invoke uh, Section 106 uh, or not. Some of the toilets that allegedly cost the municipality millions are in Tembisa, where the Democratic Alliance in Gauteng will be conducting an oversight inspection on Thursday. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Germiston. Well, last week we spoke to the new MEC for Human Settlements, Urban Planning and Local Government in Gauteng who wanted answers. Lebohang Maile had written a letter to the mayor of Ikuruleni, uh, Masina, following a report, and we were alluding to it there, uh, Amal Bungane uh, investigating, entitling the report, The Toilet Tender That Stings to High Heaven. That probe uh, revealing that the Ikuruleni Metro spent nearly $2 billion on those chemical toilets over three years. Now, according to that report, the tender was meant to provide toilets to informal settlements uh, who were using the bucket system before, but critics say uh, they were sourced from 16 small suppliers and in fact it was a get-rich uh, scheme for some contractors that left those beneficiaries with broken and dirty toilets. Well, the Kuruleni Mayor Mzwandile Masina joins us in studio now. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. So you say you're going nowhere. Where must I go? Uh, because I'm elected to serve. My term is ending in 2021 and the people of Egoruland will decide mm -hmm. who's their next leader. And all the claims against you are made up? Well, these are not the claims against me. These are the claims against the institution. Uh, unfortunately, the media uh, tend to project individual as faces of corruption. Um, uh, as, you, as you have read yourself, this tender was uh, approved way before my time. Uh, but I'm not going to be a coward and not take responsibility of uh, what uh, has happened. Uh, when that decision was taken, it was at the backdrop of the ANC manifesto, localized mm -hmm. manifesto, where we had okay. said that uh, we are going to provide uh, one toilet for five families because yeah. the condition before was one toilet for ten families, which in our view was indignant. Can, can I question you on that? Because so you arrived in 2016, right? August, yes, on the 23rd of August. August 2016. So Ama Bungane is saying actually the, the tender was done over three years. Two billion rand was spent over three years. In 2016, 16,000 toilets. Then the number increased to 30,000. 2017, for 2018, 2019, 39,000 chemical toilets. You were there in 2018. Yes. So, so toilets no, were bought on an ongoing no, basis? No, no, no. The tender does not work like that. So the tender gets to be adjudic adjudicated at a particular point in time. At that time, I was not there. At the phase of the implementation of the tender, the administration was there, and uh, we had presided over it. What I'm trying to explain to you is that uh, at the time that decision was made, uh, we had taken an informed decision that we are not going to subject 600,000 people from the informal settlement who reside on uh, about 164,000 households yeah. uh, to, so to were just... So weren't you involved in the awarding of... of no, I was not... In, not at all? No politicians get involved in awarding, but I'm saying in terms of the t office term, I was not involved. It was yeah. not, it was before my time, but even the former mayor was not involved because... Uh, Politicians by law are not allowed to get involved in supply chain. That's, that's beside the point. Yeah. Only those who want to be sensational uh, want to say, are you involved? Is this tender stinking? But let me explain the fact so that at least can help the viewers and listeners.
listeners at home so that sure. everyone can. So what has what had happened? That tender was awarded in the previous administration in anticipation that we're going to come through in the new year, new year and implement the localized manifesto that we had come up with. So what the manifesto said, it said on sanitation, we can't allow 10 households to use one toilet. Yes. Let's rather reduce it to five. Meaning that when was when this? We, uh, this was in 2016. Okay. So, so now when we started, we then needed to come up with a program, institutionalize the manifesto, come up with a program that was going to scale up. So these numbers we are counting from 9,000 to 16,000 to yeah. 30,000 to 39,200 and, and 112 now is as a result of our planned rolling out of these services because yeah. now the conditions in the informal settlement are much more better because of that okay, wise, wise decision. Uh, Mayor, are you not contradicting yourself? Because you, you said this was all decided before you came into yes. office. Uh, and now you're talking about the scaling up. So, so if 20, in 2018, if 39,000 chemical toilets were decided upon, were you not involved in, in bringing that number to 39,000? Ma'am. Uh, or was that all decided way before you, no. your tenure? So the tender is as and when. Remember, the informal settlements are not... But it was scaled stated. up during your tenure. Yes. The, okay. point, the point I'm trying to More make More toilets yeah. were ordered? Yes. Okay. And, and there is nothing wrong with that because we needed to ensure that the condition on the ground is improved. So I'm saying to you, now we are implementing an ANC policy. Remember, when you say I came in or I came late, this is one ANC government that is continuing its work. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that we are now implementing one is to five to better the conditions of, of the local, of the in, in, informal settlement. Me and you sit here on average with a wife and a husband and a kid or two, we've got an average of three or four toilets, we see nothing wrong. Now, for us to save the poor, yeah. just one toilet, for, which is, in my view, still an indignity. But, but the it must be, it must be labeled a scandal. I think that yeah. the media is harsh, is unfair. May look the at, problem, according to the investigation, the, is that the toilets are dirty and broken. So the, it's not actually helping the, the poor. The problem is when you talk... Is that true or not? No, it is not true, because if you speak to three people and they, you want them to represent 600,000 people, you are likely to find views. If I can come here at SABC and ask everyone, are you happy? Others are happy, others are not happy. It doesn't mean that's a state of the SABC. So let's be logical as, uh, as people who are leadership of, of the institution. So where we are now, I'm saying to you that this tender has actually run its course. We have since, in my term, concluded another term, having learned some of the things which were shortcomings uh, that uh, uh, we needed to improve on. What are those issues? One of them is that uh, in the research that we did in 2018 and the research that, that was done by one of the NGOs, uh, it was clear that we need toilets that can cater for people with disability, improve the ventilation, okay. make sure that the... Mayor, the please the, can I stop you? Because you're talking about the future now. We've, we've got claims around toilets uh, serving 600,000 people. Is that correct? Yes. Have you gone and looked at those toilets yourself? Because the claims are that they were there to help the poor, to help people with the bucket uh, system, that they are broken, that they are dirty, that they are not helping. Have you gone out and looked at toilets? It will be impossible for me to go Have and Have you look. looked at any? Yes. They, they, there are tens of thousands. Have you looked at any? No, no, no. Let's not distort here. I'm saying to you, uh, we've received reports. I have gone on sites to check some of the toilets because I, when I go to the informal settlements, that's one of the first things that we checked. We are not just rolling out informal uh, in, uh, sanitation in the informal settlement. Mm -hmm. Of the 119 informal settlements, as I'm speaking to you now, 35 of them have been electrified because they, those are families who deserve support from government. We are not going to provide only for the rich and leave the poor destitute mm -hmm. uh, because we are threatening. So you that have when checked some informal yes. settlements, and and according to you, are those toilets in order? Look, they will always be crisis because other areas they bend them other areas and so on but those things are not a, 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 a you know a, 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 you, you can't use them as a measure whether or not the program is successful i am saying to you the, the amount of appreciation by our people who are receiving these services is not as the, according to the attitude of Amapungani that wants us to believe that when we provide for the poor, we must be stinking corruption. So would you corruption. say the majority is happy with the toilets? Is I don't know. I'm saying? not a researcher. I'm the mayor. Yeah. I'm saying to you, as things stand, are you we on have top of this issue because this is important. This is six hundred thousand people. Let affected. me tell you, that's why I have come out as a mayor. I did not leave it to the administration 
to make sure that we clarify what would, what would have happened. Because firstly, this is not a tender scandal, right? This is a, a deliberate political program to make sure that the poor are provided with sanitation. And I'm arguing that there is nothing wrong. If there are challenges of one area not uh, being cleaned, that thing will be attended. It's administrative. But as things stand now, all the things that are, are the weaknesses have been attended to us to ensure that this service is provided. But over and above that, I must hasten to say that we are building, we are the only city that is building 100,000 houses so that we can move some of those people from the informal settlement and move them to a a permanent settlement. We are giving 59,000 uh, service tents because it can't be that we must subject those people as a permanent feature of those. But more interesting as a last point is that in the informal settlement, we are beginning to look at the alternative sanitation program that can be rolled out, especially in the land that is owned by the municipality. Have, have you responded to the MEC who wanted answers on, on the previous toilet tender that we're talking about? Yes, the MEC will be receiving his report tomorrow. It has been complied. Uh, it has been compiled. I've looked into the details because we needed it because this is a government accounting. We have a responsibility to account to the MEC of local government in terms of any allegations that are leveled against us. But mm. we can never equate these allegations because we get to be audited by the Auditor General who has not found anything afterwards. But I am not a subject of Amapungani and will not allow them to intimidate us to provide services to the poor. Do you, do you feel comfort uh, comfortable you will keep your job? No, I'm keeping my job. You what the is the problem? Of your, your party and the, party the fully, MEC after the, this letter? The party fully supports me because I have not done anything wrong. Mm. You've also addressed claims that you misled council uh, around the suspension of the, the COO, Joe Mojapello. He says you lied to the special investigating unit about him. I, is that whole issue being dealt with? Yes, um, the issue is being dealt with because uh, he, he was not suspended by me. The mayor does not have such powers, so he must not uh, accord such powers to me, which are not there. He was suspended by full council. All the political parties in council, including today, we speak in one voice that he had to be suspended because after the report presented, uh, we were given the bundle of evidence and they were given an instructive because we were not investigating. It was the SIU that we must uh, subject him to the DC. This is what we are doing now. So the fact that he's going around hoping media houses will not change. He must come and appear before the DC so that he can face what the SIU alleges against him. And, and, and that's, mm. where, that's where we are. And you believe that the claims against you, you'll be vindicated completely? There are no claims against me. I'm not under any investigation. From, from him? No, he's an employee. He can't make claims against me because I've not done anything to him. Mayor, if, if we end, we're, we're running out of time. The, the, I've focused on the toilet uh, alleged scandal because I think this gets to the heart of service delivery, of, of the frustration that South Africans feel. And you're saying you're not subject to Amabungani, but what is your message to South Africans who, who want to know that people are in place who care about services for the poor? Well, uh, what, what I can say to the people of Egoruleni who are providing these services, we need to work together to ensure that these services are better because those men and women and children, they reside in those, uh, don't, they don't uh, sit in the... Uh, uh, you know, offices somewhere, they reside in those environments. We are striving, all of us, to make sure that their conditions are much more better. And we are committed as the ANC-led uh, coalition government in Egoruleni to make sure that their conditions are changed for the better. Hence, I'm referring to building of houses, electrifying those informal settlements, but also making sure that this sanitation problem uh, uh, is dealt with uh, decisively by our own administration. All right, thank you for your time this evening. That was the mayor of Ekuruleni, Mzwandile Masina.